Hi gang, this is a piezoelectric speaker I got from a microwave oven and modified for use with my crystal radio. People often ask me where to get crystal earpieces for listening to their crystal radios. Well, this is probably your cheapest source. Microwave ovens are a treasure trove of parts. What you do is you take the cover off and then this section right here on this side you'll find all sorts of things. Right over here, what I'm interested in right now is that black thing right there which contains a piezoelectric crystal speaker. And there you can see the speaker. That's the crystal right there, that disc. And next to the solder from the board. Okay, so I got my voltmeter. I'll put it on the 2000 millivolt scale. So basically two volts. I'll hook up one end of the alligator clip to um, one of the meter probes, the other alligator clip to the other meter probes, and then I'll connect them to the crystal. Doesn't matter which way you connect things in this case. And then I'll tap the crystal. And right there, that was 768 millivolts. 291 millivolts. Let's go on a 20 volt scale. The sign will vary. Um, this meter is on the DC volts uh, scale is not very good at picking up the spikes. So it's only going to see a part of what's going on, but you can definitely tell something's going on. So it works. Okay, so I just tried it and it works great. So I'll show you what I did. I take one alligator clip, connect to the output of the diode, connect the other end to either end of the crystal, connect another alligator clip to ground, connect the other end to the other end of the crystal, and I'll just give it a listen here. Oh yeah, I still have it. I'll put it in the speaker, in the microphone for the camera. You may not hear it. I don't know if you heard that, but what I need to do is put a tube right here to help direct the sound. The end is also exposed, so I'm wondering if maybe a solid uh, piece of plastic there might help too. Okay, so I got an old pen right here, and I'm just going to cut off the last, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so. And then I'll hot glue it right over that hole, centered over that hole in the case. Okay, I've cut a piece of hard plastic, the kind I get from hobby shops. Use whatever you have, I just want something hard so that it can capture the um, sound energy in the back here and keep it inside. So I'm just going to hot glue that there. And before I stick that in my ear, I have some rubbing alcohol here. I just want to sanitize the end of this a bit. There you go, there's the end result. Now I was tuned into something. There you go, yep, loud and clear. I'll put it in the camera microphone, so hopefully you can hear it too. Works great. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more videos like this. That includes one with step by step instructions for making the crystal radio you saw here, another containing tips and tricks for crystal radios, including more on earpieces, and for variety, one on how to power a calculator using a solar panel made out of transistors. And thanks to user Mario Magpie, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, for his video response to one of my videos pointing out that these crystals are available in microwave ovens. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Or give a thumbs up, or leave a question, or comment below. See you soon!